Amherst Wildlife Society, in association with the WWF, better known as EWS WWF, is a local environmental NGO established in the UAE in 2001 to protect the UAE's natural heritage and promote sustainable lifestyles. The Heroes of the UAE campaign was launched in partnership with the Environment Agency Abu Dhabi in 2009. Its main aim is to raise awareness about the high uh, per capita ecological footprint in the UAE. And the idea of the campaign is that we can all play a role by following simple steps, simple behavioral changes to reduce our consumption of energy and water. We launched a series of audits, as we like to call them the green makeovers. Um, this series of uh, green makeovers were sponsored by Emirates uh, Foundations for Philanthropy. We basically hired a consultant to look at baseline consumption for energy and water in three households across three different Emirates. And these are Abu Dhabi, Dubai and Fajera. لما جوني الجروب ابطال الامارات واعطوني الدعوه اني اكون ان اشارك معاهم في الحمله هاي حمله ابطال الامارات واني اكون كاول اماراتي مشارك معاهم في الحمله وفي نفس الوقت ان انا بستفيد من الخبراء اللي بيجيبوا لي اياهم عسى من النصائح اللي بيعطوني اياها واجهزه بيركبوا لي اياها في البيت فاستانس وايد منهم والله هم لما جوا البيت عملوا دراسه على البيت شاف البيت كم يستهلك من الكهرباء تقريبا طلع استهلاك الكهرباء ما يعادل 68 ألف واط سنويا هو تقريبا الاستخدام أكثر شيء في المكيفات كل غرفة تحصل مكيف فيها شغال تلفزيونات الأضوية والله أنا بعد ما شفت النسبة عالية قعدت مع أفراد العائلة في العائلة في البيت فهمتم ان النسبة الموجودة عندنا كبيرة جدا واحنا لازم نقلل منها فانا نصحتهم انهم لازم يتاكدوا من الاشياء هذه كلها اللي هي الكهرباء لما ما تكون شغالة الليتات نفس الشيء المكيفات التلفزيونات يجتمع مع بعض في البيت يقعدوا في غرفة واحدة يطالعوا فيها التلفزيون المكيفات ما لازم 24 ساعة مخلينها شغالة Our major observation was that as it is the consumption is the majority of the electricity consumption comes from air conditioning but in this case the air conditioning was from the building which means the, the client was not paying for the electricity for the air conditioning consumption. So if you look at the net consumption pattern the majority comes from lighting which was up to 61 percent of the total consumption. Um, I participated in the campaign. I read about a campaign happening in the UAE called Heroes of the UAE. And the article that I read specifically was about um, a program in Abu Dhabi where they were putting water savers into people's homes. And I thought that would be a wonderful way for us to save more water. Trying to turn off the taps is one thing, but water saving devices make a much bigger difference. The results of the audit that we got were um, that our annual consumption is a million liter and a half bottles of water a year. A million. Yes, and we heard that number and it was a bit of a shock. That's a, that's a high number. Um, but then they told us by implementing the water saving devices, we can cut down that usage by as much as 225,000 of those bottles. And that also will save us over three and a half thousand dirhams a year. Um, which was a great, a great, very positive impact for us to bring down, you know, our, our water use. طبعا هي هذه المادة ثرمر الكوتينج اللي ركبونا إياها. البيت قبل ما يركبونا المادة كان كذا، وبعد ما ركبوا المادة اللي هي صار البيت كذا. المادة طبعا هاي فائدتها إن تخفض درجة الحرارة، تعكس أشعة الشمس لما تضرب على الجدار. 
تعكس الاشعه فبالتالي الغرفه الغرف في البيت تكون بارده ما يحتاج انك تشغل المكيف فيها وايد طبعا بعد ما اسوي لي الماده هاي فوق البيت الثرمال كوتنج استهلاك الكهرباء نقص عندي 13% ما يعادل 13600 واط سنويا بعد ما ركبوا الماده هذه What we recommended was switching over the existing lighting to LEDs because LED is more energy efficient and also it saves a lot of uh, energy and it's also environmentally friendly. So that saves up to the 45% of their electricity consumption. And it also has a very long life. It has a life of up to 50,000 hours, which means you don't have to replace it, the lights frequently. So by turning off the taps and filling a bowl instead of the sink or letting it run, we save 34 liters per person per day. We wash something like fruit, keeping that water and using it for something else later by filling the sink and then use it to wash the dishes quickly or rinse the dishes. And mainly just teaching the kids, just turning off the taps when you brush your teeth. We tried to make more changes. We thought we were doing quite a good job, but then <laughs> you can always do more. This is the Eco 3 طبعا هالجهاز وظيفته انه ينظم درجه الحراره للمكيف ويخفض من استهلاك الكهرباء طبعا الجهاز هذا خفض لي تقريبا 12% من استهلاك الكهرباء ما يعادل 12683 واط سنويا لج الخبراء لما يجوا نصحوني فيه وركبوا لي اياه We were actually positively surprised at the result of the audit um, looking at implementing only technical changes in these three households, we're looking at possible savings of around 33,000 kilograms of CO2 emissions. That constitutes around 34% in reduction. Now, if every villa in Abu Dhabi achieves that sort of reduction, we're looking at removing 111,000 cars off the street annually. If we are to look at these savings and, and translate them into financial uh, terms, we're looking at around 12,000 dirhams per year in these three households. The audits also predict uh, that these households could actually achieve further 10% 10, 10 reduction in energy and water consumption by following simple steps and simple behavioral changes in daily lives. Oh, I think it's important for everyone to do this conservation. It's important globally for everyone to save water, just not because you move here, because it affects everybody. It's not just a UAE problem, it's a problem everywhere. Our world's environment is well balanced and interrelated with each other. We need to conserve because it enables us to provide more supply in the future. Because our natural resources won't last forever. Spreading awareness is one of the most important things. Go green, be conscious of your choices, make better choices for yourself.